My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. I have many things to share tonight, but obviously I can't go beyond here. But the first thing you need to be mindful of as an operation of the spirit of the age is the spirit of deception. And if you, if you will ask God tonight for discernment, which is the only prayer we will pray, if you will ask God for discernment tonight, you will see the level of deception surrounding you. Even the actions you take, most of them full of deception. And if you are able to win the battle over deception, you will see the level of authority God will commit to you. The level of authority God will commit to you. You will be amazed. It will be almost impossible for you or difficult for you to accept it. Deception is so subtle. As the name is, so it is. That even by dressing up, your dress code can be deception. To create a false impression is that subtle. And when that begins to happen, something has gone wrong with you. So subtle that even the message you are preaching is full of deception. You just want to get the people to a vulnerable state so that you can exploit them. And so you find somebody talking about the blessedness of giving. The blessedness of giving. He teaches on the blessedness of giving until he looks as if giving is a bargain with God. And when he's done teaching it, he wants 10 people to give 1 million. And because of people's appetites and self-centeredness, they have heard this thing, they want to bargain with God. And they give 1 million. This 1 million they are giving it's not because they love God. They have had the blessedness of giving so much that it has stirred their appetite for self-preservation. And so they, what should have been a teaching to edify becomes a message that activates lust in their spirit. And so 90% of the people are giving as a bargain. If God will give me 100% instantly, I better give 1 million now. Because 100% of 1 million is... <laughs> that's where we are somebody is praying the prayer is deception as he's praying he's trying to let you know his rank in the spirit he has nothing to do with your circumstance he's reading his rank so that when he's done you will be careful before you give honorarium you will be very careful the honorarium you will give and how you will give it. You will be very careful. It's called deception. And everybody is learning it every day. Learning it and running with it. Somebody wants to preach the message of salvation. The simplest message in the Bible. The other day we did a crusade and we gathered the first timers. These first timers were hoping that they would become, you know, workers so that they will grow. And then we went for first timers meeting. And a brother, a pastor was asked to teach first timers. And this brother began to talk about his dealings and his cars in the kingdom. You are teaching first timers about your cars and the the peris that you've gone through for the name of the Lord. So that when they become church workers eventually, you will be the first man of God that their allegiance will be to. 
Paul said they make disciples after themselves. What has first timers got to do with the burdens of God, the scars and the dealings of the Spirit? What, what is the meaning of scar? What is the meaning of body? How does a first timer know that? And they are invoking stories of 17 years ago. After the first day, first timers reduced from 75 to 24. The second one he handled, they became three. Because they, when they saw, the scars were too big for them. <laughs> the, scars, the bodies that the man of God has borne is too heavy. If they bear their bodies, they will die. Because the message the evangelist preached to them was quite simple. They came to church the first day, they are hearing scars and body. They, they move back. <laughs> <laughs> evil preaching is deception that's where we are can you ask the Lord to deliver you from the spirit of deception that you will not be deceived and you too will not deceive others because you have not understood this because you heard the message you understand this when your motive is purified because a man wins the war over deception when his motives are purified. Your motives. When you show love, why do you do it? When you give, why do you do it? When you pray, why do you pray? When you go out to preach, why do you do it? Your motives are wrong. You will do only the right things, but you have no reward. Because when God checks you, he will check your motives first. Our world is so corrupt. Even advice that elders give those days to help people become better. Even advice now is manipulation in our generation. Take me, Lord, to your secret place, Lord. Take me by your hands. To your holy place Let me see your face And your glory, Lord Let me know you more I've taught you this evening looks simple but more than 90% of the believers today are slaves and if you want to take an honest check when you go out tomorrow draw a diagram a table when you are done for the day probe your actions and see the spirit that powers it whether it is love and truth or whether it is deception that's when you will know where you are truly going to in life deception is subtle but at the end of time it will rob men more than immorality ever did because it will be weaved into your operating system you will think it you will act it you will live it and the more harmless you appear the more deceptive and destructive you will become that's how powerful it is. Ask the Lord to help you one minute. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord to help you. There is a place my heart cries out for love. There is a place I am yearning for. It is a place 
of the spirit that fights deception number one is understanding and number two is discernment I don't have time to teach but I want you to pray now in your understanding ask the Lord to grant you understanding and discernment understanding will help you to stand firm against deception and discernment will help you to dictate it and to ward it off your life Ask the Lord for it. Don't just nod your head. Ask the Lord for it. Ask the Lord for it. If you have understanding, you will know that even your tomorrow is in the hands of God. You will not be under pressure. If you have understanding, you will know that you don't need to cut corners to be great. Only God makes great. And if you have discernment, nobody can deceive you. Ask the Lord. He said, ask, you will receive. Seek, you will find. Knock, the door will be open. Go ahead and ask him. If God truly delivers you from deception, you will be guaranteed of reward in, the, in eternity. So you don't end up becoming a Christian, suffer everything Christians suffer, and at the end of the day, not receive the reward that God has made available for Christians. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Please be seated. May God help us not to preach or take any action that will make men honor and respect us much more than the honor God has put on our lives. And may God help us not to do anything to get men give out of the leading of beyond what should have been the leading of the Holy Spirit or the revelation of truth. We will never come under such pressure. As the Lord helps us, we will live as honorable people with integrity, both in the house of God and outside of the house of God. That is when we will truly become witnesses of the last days. As you live something new will happen to you there will be a paradigm shift and there will be a new decision taken that will make you be to be to be confident in god and in all god has said to you and walk with him in integrity believing that he will lift you up and truly he will and it will also bring you a quickening in discernment that will stop every operation of deception around you so that you will walk in the light of the word of God. Thank you so much for coming for the study tonight. God bless you richly. And so when we come back on Tuesday, I will take time to outline the... I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed if um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you 
to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.